too. This is really cool. Wait <laughs> to bond. Late every time. Train coming. That was fast. The trains just rip by and it's quiet immediately. And the trains don't toot here. Oh my God! Woo! Listen to that horn! Here's a good example. And then it's just silent. Well, it's probably really windy. Today for a change, we're taking the first class train to Munich. We got a great price on the ticket, so we figured we'd do a little comparison. I don't know why we're here so early. We do have assigned seats. <laughs> it's not quite as early as it looks because it doesn't get light in Germany at this time of year until about 8.30 in the morning. So far, 80% of our trains in Germany have been late. They do do a good job of taking care of you when you miss your connection and it's their fault. Here's us where we need to go to get in our assigned car. We each got our own little table. Three paper, table, plug in, and on our seat it tells us where we're going. Welcome to Munchen. Even though it's not snowing right now, it's definitely a winter wonderland. It should be snowing very soon, so we'll enjoy this beautiful sun while we have it. We actually got into Munich yesterday after a really lovely train ride. We just went to the hotel, which is also a nice surprise. We'll show you that later. We actually did leave the room a little bit last night, but we left the camera back. This place was packed with Christmas wonderment. It was absolute pandemonium down here last night. We'll have to come back tonight and show it to you. Today is Sunday. A lot of stuff is closed. It's really chill. So we thought it was a great opportunity to get some nice shots and do a little walking tour down here. There's a church that I have to see in the daylight. So that's where we're headed right now. Kid, what's eating you? Nothing. He's at the top of the food chain. I continue to be amazed and happily surprised with all over Europe how many people, whenever you're taking a picture or shooting a video, they stop or go around behind you. It's a welcome change to what we have become accustomed to. All these windows have animatronic stuffed animals in them. I had to come back today because last night the line was so long to look. Hey, they have me, a monkey with a camera. This is what I had to come back for. Now check this out. That was really cool. And my favorite part was the What's the horses called? That the knights joust and knock one over. Yeah, that was really good. So is it fair to say that I'm winning you over to my method of staying near the equator? Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm tired of being cold. It's all the way into your bones and doesn't leave. We'll be back there soon. <laughs> I like this guy. That is all cheese. No more cheese. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, precisely. The tin and Christmas scene up there is absolutely beautiful. One of the challenges in filming the vlogs is trying to get away from just filming a bunch of pretty stuff that we see and slapping it together. Munich is making that very difficult because there is just so much awesome architecture and beautiful art in every direction. I just find myself continuing to video it and I'm like, how am I gonna put that together? <laughs> if that's what it is, sorry, but this place is pretty cool. Also, really bright, no sunglasses. We started there and we worked down here and now we're down here. We're gonna go over there and probably around there. This is the Sendlinger Tor, Sendlinger Gate, just more wow. The cold is numbing. It's still enjoyable, but it does take down a little bit of the fun factor. <laughs> My fingers feel like icicles in gloves, which are really good gloves. And I put them in the hat and they feel like they have frostbite. <laughs> I wouldn't change it for the world. You have to experience it in the winter at Christmas time just to get how beautiful it, it is here. It's worth the cold and the misery. <laughs> now I know where we are.
We're gonna have some sit down donor kebab. We've been eating so much amazing Middle Eastern food. We have to go there. I'm in. How's your chicken? That's good chicken. Try my chicken. <laughs> my chicken's better. Mm, that's really good. This is a lot of food. It's like seven euros a piece, but wow. Anyways, out. Hello. So we didn't go out last night. We just went to bed. <laughs> And we've got some big changes, but I'm going to go outside so I can take my mask off and tell you about it right now. Katie's staying in the hotel because it's like 30 degrees out here. I always love the idea of summer. Italy, where we're supposed to be going next, just changed their entry requirements from EU countries at the last minute. So we now require a test, even though we're triple vaccinated, before we go to Italy. Our train leaves tonight, so fingers crossed first to book an appointment. Now let's head to the center with a few more layers of clothing added because, you know, it's 30. <laughs> and now that we're outside, we can be mask free. Ah. <laughs> Apparently this neighborhood was more fun before COVID. Not sure if I mentioned our train leaves at eight o'clock tonight, so we've got today to get this stuff sorted out. Wow, that is really zoomed in. All we need is the rapid antigen test. And in Germany, they're free. Cool. And 20 minutes later, they email you the results. Good to go. And it's really nice to pass a test. <laughs> it doesn't remind you of college, huh? Uh, no, I get panic attacks. And our hotel let us keep the bags there for the day. I'm not sure if we did any video on the hotel, but it was a really nice surprise. So, Maritim Munchen. I don't think we put any videos. <laughs> oh, well, well uh, Maritim Munchen, they're very nice right next to the Hauptbahnhof, the main train station, literally right across the street, and way nicer than the review said. Hello from Caldwell, Idaho. Very nice to meet y'all. It's been a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Don't forget to like and subscribe. They're wonderful people. We bonded in the uh, in the COVID test line. <laughs> and we're all negative. <laughs> Woo! <Yay! laughs> Good travel, guys. Bye. Now we have a very important mission. Eating. The most difficult part of that mission is always deciding where to go. <laughs> Okay, I'm taking over the camera. He keeps stopping to film, and I'm hangry. Can you feel that? Oh. <laughs> Jeff, eat a Snickers, please. Let's go eat now. Yes, ma'am. We are in Munich, Germany. So, of course, Katie wants a... On me. A Vietnamese sandwich. Asian food is always our go-to. Well, and I saw a lot of local, local people eating here yesterday, so... Mm, it's probably good. The the train stations kind of connect and turn into a big underground mall. So we're down here. Ah, danke schön. Camera's low. Bibimbap. Yes, I'm in Munich ordering Korean food, and it smells delicious. That's good. Danke schön. He said, mix that up before you eat it. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's crunchy. I don't know if you can see this. It's really good. I've never had one actually in Taiwan. Vietnam, not Taiwan. I'm hoping to go there and have one actually in the country. Really good. Would you like some Sriracha super hot hot sauce? No. Now I'm going to turn it off so we can eat. It's open! Markets are closed. <laughs> Katie. No, I told you no more cheese. Cheese. No. Olive tree. I know the Christmas markets are closed, but this. This is bigger than most of the Christmas markets we've been to that were open. It was really big news that 
uh, buyer in the state that Munich's in closed down all their Christmas markets and all this stuff. It's pretty happening down here. Unfortunately, we didn't come out at night to show you the square at night because that was the most crowded place we've been since we've been to Germany. This is awesome. We're having an amazing experience. We're grateful that it wasn't as doom and gloom as we were led to believe before we came here. That's true. Now we gotta figure out what to do for the next six hours until our night train to Italy. I'm sure we'll figure something out. <laughs> Starbucks. Foreshadowing, an indication of something that will happen in the future, often used as a literary device to hint at or allude to future plot developments. And they have like five of them, so we could just hop from one to the next to the next. <laughs> Free Wi-Fi, good coffee, and a hometown feel. me to go even higher <laughs> that's like yelling to me which is cringeworthy <laughs> let's get some dinner and go to the train good enough <laughs> Take the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>